Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, or as you saw at the beginning, this is the last weekly for June, and therefore it is the final weekly spread in the 90s and nature series. As you noticed, I was already having some trouble with my marker near the, the spine of the book, or the crease. What is it called? I don't know. The spine is on the out. Is it called the spine if it's in the inside or is it only called spine on the outside? I don't know. Anyways, uh, but I am excited about the new theme. I'm a little sad that we're leaving the 90s, but I am looking forward to the next one. I may or may not have music on this video due to some technical issues. This YouTube thing is definitely a learning pro uh, a learning process, but... I, I, I enjoy doing it. It's just, we may not have music today. We'll see. Uh, I just wanted to get started on the monthly spread. And I've been working on this video for several days now, trying to figure out the, the situation that I've been having. But yeah. Anyways, I went ahead and did the, the kind of spread I had kind of tried to do last week and then I had started over but I kind of reversed it because I think I wanted to have like colorful lines with black shadows and that just did not work well as you may have noticed if you watched that video last week but I am excited I think this spread turned out well I hope you enjoy it splurged the other day and got some containers for my supplies as you may notice the little yellow lemon box that I put my markers in this time and right uh to the left of that box there's a little baggie that I've got my stickers in that I thought was really cute I really like the the little sticker of the the dog and the cat on the gumball machine I thought that was so cute so I was just wondering, what was your favorite weekly spread for this month? Let me know in the comments down below. And oh, that little popcorn bucket sticker I thought was also cute. I, I'm saying cute a lot in this video, so I'm sorry if it's too much. I'm sorry if it's too cute for you. I'm sorry if you can't handle the cuteness. <laughs> Sunday, I came into the living room and there was a package sitting on the TV tray that I like to use. And there was a note on it. It said a gift for you. And I was like, what is this? What is it? And it was from my husband, my amazing husband, whom I love. He is amazing. Did I mention he's amazing? Because he is kind of amazing. But anyways, it was this cute... Uh, I see. I keep saying cute. Stop saying cute. Get over the cuteness. Anyways, it was, he had bought me, I believe it's called Adobe Premiere. It's, it's a video editing software and he's, he just has seen the struggles <laughs> that I've endured during this whole process, trying to get a schedule down, but having to deal with some technical difficulties along the way. So I really appreciate it. And I'm hoping to download it, not download it install it today. Oh, and here we are at the quotes part. I love doing quotes. I think it's awesome. And of course, as you can see, my goal for this week is reading five chapters of Battlefield of the Mind. I'm also wanting to add to that goal to start writing again, because I've been working on this book slash two books slash three books for years now, and I need to do it. So anyways, that first quote was, it's amazing what we can do if we simply refuse to give up from Octavia E. Butler. And then I referenced my travel notebook and my list. I have a list with the different names for God. And sometimes I like to write those out too, what they mean. And then another one, uh, I am a friend of Christ, which is found in John 15 15 and the little note that my husband left me with the package that he got me I hung it next to the note from my sister-in-law 
at, by my filming area where I film like my talking videos just to keep the nice little things that people say to encourage me along my YouTube journey. Yes, we've got a quote from Craig Rochelle. Your life is always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. And then, what was the other one? I have been purpose, I've been uniquely designed for a purpose from Psalms 139, 14 through 16. And that was uh, Yahweh Shama means Yahweh is present. And I think it's important to remember during this time, during this whole year, that God is here. He sees what, what everyone's going through in their different ways. And he's here. He's with us. And we just need to reach out. All right. So I'm just putting on the finishing touches. Arranging the quotes like so. A little, little teapot sticker is kind of cool. It says, spill the tea. And of course, there's that random banana sticker. And then I had all this space left. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just made it a section for whatever random thoughts that I might have. I don't know. And then that cute little sticker. Be your best you. Well, thank you for watching and... I'm going to tell you what the next theme is and just a second on here. I will see you soon for the new monthly spread. Please like this video, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of the theme this month and if you're excited about next month's theme.